What on earth has happened to Olympic Lyon? They currently sit winless and second bottom in Ligue 1 at the time of recording. These used to be the most dominant side in French football. Is Lyon's poor early season form a byproduct of them not spending much money in the transfer window? I don't know. One thing I do know though is we are going to be saving Olympic Lyon in EAFC. They desperately need our help. But let's jump into EAFC, take Lyon from second bottom in Ligue 1 to Champions League winners. Remember lads, if you enjoy this type of content, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out. Let's get into the rebuild. So this is the Leon team on paper lads and oh my God, all them players out of position, it's actually knocking me sick. But just looking through the squad lads, I really, really cannot see how this squad is bottom of league earned. I mean, it's by no means an excellent squad on paper, but that should not be coming bottom of the French team. So I've had a play about with the starting 11 boys and I've put me on twist on it. I want to use a 4-3-3 attack in this Leon save. And I think it currently gets the best out of the players we have available in season one because as you know, with all these rebuilds, the first transfer window is always disabled, so we can't make any income until January the 1st. And lads, we are going to use the ticket tacker tactical vision for this rebuild. And when we get to January, lads, I think we need a new left winger and a new centre back because them positions are just so poor. Jafinho's 73 rated and 23 years old, so he has got room to grow, but he is not good enough to get us in the Champions League. And Lovren is 78 rated and 33 year old, lads. We need a younger replacement for him. And when we get to January, we will have 58 million euros to spend. So we are now going to simulate far to January the 1st and we can only hope and pray we are around the Champions League places. So we've arrived at January the 1st, lads, and just look at the league earn table. We're somehow third in the league on 32 points, only seven points off PSG. I think that just goes to show how low the standard actually is of league earn, that a team full of 70 rated players can actually be third January the 1st. In terms of growth, lads, only Jeffinho has made any real progress. Serchi has grown by one overall to 77. But other than that, lads, not much to shout about. Before we get into signing some players, lads, we have got two players out of contract this month. Remy Rio and Tino Caduere were not going to be renewing on both, lads. They will probably leave the club either now or at the end of the season. Our first signing of the Leon rebuild is one of the most exciting young centre-backs on the planet. We have spent 42 million euros to bring in Piero Hincape from Bayer Leverkusen. He's 22-year-old and 88 rated centre back and he's straight into our starting 11 and in Piero Hincapé lads I really think we've got an end game player here I think he'll be with us all the way through to the Champions League final now that only leaves us with 21 million euros to bring in a left winger so we might have to see some players leave before we can bring one signing in but in all honesty lads Jeff Eno's already grown by 3 ratings to 76 rated so we might not actually be in a position where we have to sign a left winger because he's actually doing really well this season now one player I will be trying to sign this summer is Ernst Nuama he has grown by 3 overalls and he's 20 years old and he's currently on loan with us so I'm going to try to make this deal permanent. And we have converted Ernst Nuama's loan to a permanent deal for 15 million euros. And the incomings of Nuama and Hincape leave us with just £6 million of men. So that probably means, lads, no more incomings in this window. Meaning this will be the team that takes us to the end of the season. Now, with the incomings of Hincape and Nuama... I think the squad is looking pretty strong now, to be honest. So we are at the end of the transfer window, lads, and there have been some outgoings to keep you up to date with. Enrique has joined Sporting CP on a free transfer. Diane Lovren has joined Atletico Bilbao for 3.6 million. Jake O'Brien has joined Club Bruges on season long loan. Mamadou Sarr has joined Anderlecht on a season long loan. Michael Nesbitt has joined Dublin on loan. Ali has joined a Norwegian team on loan. Rodriguez has joined Dalian Pro. Skelly Alvaro has joined Sporting CP. And Sayel Kumbede has joined Lazio on loan. So that is our window done, lads. We are now simulating for to the end of the season and hopefully we are in them Champions League positions. And as we've been simulating through to the end of the season, lads, we've had an absolute nightmare. Maxence Kakaretz is going to be joining PSV for £28 million at the end of the season. They met his release clause I don't even know about. I'm wounded about that one, lads. So we've reached the end of the first season, lads, and we've finished second in league earn, and I think that just amplifies how poor of a league this actually is. We only got beat four times all season and we only conceded 41 goals. I don't think winning league earn is going to be an issue on this rebuild. Now, this is how the team's looking at the end of the season, lads, and the main thing that stands out to me is Shirky, Jafinho and Nuama. They've all grown by like four each. Hincape grew by two as the season ended, which is really good. Going into season two, I'm thinking I want a new goalkeeper because Lopez is aging. I want a new right back because Matter is aging and I'm thinking a new centre midfielder as well. And depending on the size of the budget, lads, we might even go in for a replacement centre back because Kutelakar is only on loan from Southampton. Now, the Coupe Nationale was obviously won by PSG. They beat Rennes in the final. The Champions League was won by Manchester City, who just seemed to always win the Champions League on EAFC. The Europa League was won by Liverpool who beat Man United 3-1 in the final. That was a tasty one. And Fenerbahce won the Conference League. And our best player this season was Alexander Lacazette. And to be honest with you lads, that really doesn't surprise me. 28 goals and 9 assists for Lacazette. Nwama, Shirky and Jeffinho all had good seasons as well. Now my only personal objective for season 2 is just get out of the Champions League group stage. Now we've already identified where we want to improve the squad lads and we have got 82 million euros to do this. So lads, I completely forgot about Kakaret's move to PSV. We have just had 27 million euros infused into our transfer 
transfer budget and now we've got 106 million to spend. Our first signing of season two, boys, is one of the best young centre-backs in EAFC and we have signed him from the Bundesliga. Frenchman Costello, Luke Burt joins us for 37 million euros from RB Leipzig on a five-year deal. Now, Luke Burt is the perfect replacement for Kutela Car because he's the same overall, but he's actually eight years younger. And lads, we have brought in another very exciting young talent and he is joining us from a fellow league and rival. We have signed Warren Zaya Amiri from Paris Saint-Germain for 17 million euros. He's 18 year old and 77 rated. What a signing this is. I just want to point out as well, lads, we have accepted a 16.4 million pound bid from Manchester United for Corentin Tolisso and he will be leaving the club this summer, meaning we'll need another centre midfielder. Lads, this third signing is an absolute banger and a great replacement for Tolisso. We have signed Kefren Furum from OG Nice for 30 million euros. He's 81 rated, 23 year old and we got him so cheap because his contract was expiring at the end of the season. And after all them signings, lads, we are left with 14 million euros. Now, just confirmation, lads, of Tolisso's move to Manchester United. We've also sold Paul Akuku to Hoffenheim for 4.3 million. Sonali Diamonde handed in a transfer request, lads, and I didn't really see him as part of my plan, so I've sold him to Villarreal for 6.4 million. And because of this, lads, I actually had a little dip into the free agents list and found two incredible young centre-backs. The first being Diego Moriura. He's 18-year-old and 77 rated, and he's going out on loan this season. And we also found Danny Parra, a 17-year-old, 75 rated centre-back. He's also going out on loan this season. Now, them sales leave us with 36 million euros, and now we really do need a right back to replace Mata. So we're going to use all of that budget to bring in a good quality right back. Our next signing, lads, is a very, very exciting young right back joining us from Newcastle in the Premier League. We have signed Tino Livramento for 17.7 million euros. Now, Livramento is actually two overalls lower rated than Mata, but I'm not really arsed, boys. He is going to grow massively and probably be our end game right back. Now, we do still have 19 million euros remaining to spend, lads, but I don't just want to spend money for the sake of spending money. We're going to keep hold of that budget now till January and see if we need any reinforcements then. But there have been some more outgoings to bring you up to date with. Michael Janssen has joined US Konkianu on a season long loan. Mohamed El Rooch has joined Monzo on a season long loan. Niklas Ali has joined Altach on a season long loan. Irvin Lamane has joined LAFC on a season long loan. Michael Nesbitt has joined Valenciennes on a season long loan. Deku Lega has joined Coventry City for 2.4 million. And Johan Lepinat has joined Atletico Bilbao on a season long loan as well. And that leaves our starting 11 looking like this, boys. And do you know what, lads? With the additions of Furum, Luke and Zaire Amiri, even Livramento as well, I think that team looks really, really good going into Liga in the season. But I'm really intrigued to see how it does in the Champions League. And I've completely forgot to mention, lads, I brought in this player, Michael Johnson, on a free contract, lads, because we had no backup left winger to Jeffinho. And, lads, we've got off to a bad start to the season. We have lost the Super Cup to PSG. They beat us 4 3. Now, lads, a few more players have left the club on loan. I'm just going to bring you up to date with that. Lawrence Sanchez has joined Stad the Rams on loan. Ian Kenny has joined Rodas AF on loan. And very promising young player, Mamadou Sarr, has joined PSV for the season. And I'm not really expecting many more incomings or outgoings after this, lads. Now, our Champions League group is in, lads, and we have got oh, Liverpool, Real Madrid, and Salvia. Prague. Yeah, this season's Champions League run is a write-off. It's not happening. So without further ado, though, lads, we are going to be simulating forward to January the 1st, and let's just see how we got on in that Champions League group. So we've arrived at January the 1st, lads, and as you can see, we are once again second in league earned, but we, us and PSG, are absolutely flying this season. And very obviously, lads, we did not get through our Champions League group. We did finish third, though, and we got five points, and we even managed to beat Real Madrid at one point. So I'm just hoping that the squad can develop, and we can actually do better in the Champions League next season, if we get into it. Now, that team on paper now, lads, is a thing of beauty. Now, we've actually got 27 million euros available, lads. And looking at the team, I think I'm probably going to save that until next season, you know. Because we're conferred in that Champions League group, lads, we have been put into the preliminary round of the Europa League. So we are playing FC Basel for a place in the round of 16. But I think we've covered everything there, lads. So we're going to simulate forward to the end of the season and see how we got on in the Europa League and if we managed to beat PSG to the league and title. So we've reached the end of season two, lads. And oh, wow, we actually finished third in league and this season. So we're still in the Champions League, but Lens had a storm of a second half of the season and overtook us to second place. The Coupe Nationale was won by PSG. Oh, wow. They win again. The Champions League was won by Leipzig, lads. They beat Liverpool in the final. And the Europa League was won by Arsenal, meaning we must have got knocked out at some stage. We didn't reach the semis. We were knocked out in the quarterfinals by Arsenal, 4 to an aggregate. And the Conference League was won by Barcelona. They beat Alkmaar 5-0 in the final. Wow, that is a pasting. Look at the team at the end of the season, lads. Only Livramento is below 80 rated. Now, I think we've done such a good job with this team, lads. And the signing of Nuama is just looking like 
like a stellar piece of business. That's 15 million euros. He's now 83 rated. And Zaire Amir has grown by four as well this season. That is a, such a good team, lads, going into season three. And the positions that I want to improve going into season three are I want a new striker because Lacazette is now 34 year old. I want a new left back because Taglio Fico is 32 year old. And I'm thinking, lads, Lopez is 83 rated and 34 year old. I'm thinking, do I bring in a world class goalkeeper? And in terms of stats, lads, the man we want to replace Lacazette had another amazing season getting 25 goals and six assists. Ernst Nuama, though, grew by six overalls this season and got 21 goals and eight assists. He was incredible. Efren Furham had a good season, 14 and nine, and Jeffy Inio got 12 and seven. So let's run into season three, lads, and hopefully we do better in the Champions League and hopefully we actually get a fur group because Liverpool and Real Madrid were just not fur. So we've arrived in season three, lads, and because we finished third in Liga in last season, we've actually got to play a Champions League qualifier against FC Magdaland. I've never actually had to play a Champions League qualifier before in career mode. We've identified that we want a striker and a left-back, lads, and we've got 111 million euros to make this happen. Our first signing of season three is a major improvement in the goalkeeper position. We have signed Unai Simon for 50 million euros from Atletico Bilbao. He's 85 rated and 28 year old and will probably be our end game goalkeeper. And we did bring in three free agents lads to help beat our youth objectives. The first being Adrian Cardenas, a young goalkeeper to be back up to Unai Simon. Joaquin Guzman will play back up to our new mystery striker who I'm just about to unveil to you. And Jacob Herman will play back up to Shirky. We have brought in Lacazette's replacement lads and I think we have managed to bring in our end game striker. We have signed Yusuf Moukoko for 50 million euros from PSG. He's 20 year old and 81 rated. This guy is insane in career mode this year. And the signings of Simon and Moukoko have left us with just 23 million euros, lads. That could be a summer window done. But some players have left the club though, lads, which I will run you through. Michael Johnson, who was signed in season one, who I don't think even played a single minute for us, has left for Toulouse for 2.6 million. Irvin Lamane has joined Aruka for 2 million euros. Our Chief Laziri has joined Club Bruges on loan. David Lambert has joined US Concianu on loan. We did end up selling Anthony Lopez. He went to Marseille for 11 million. And Mamadou Sarr has joined Burnley for 5 million pounds. And also Ainsley Maitland Niles has joined Stad Rams for 4.7 million. Now, after the signings of Simon and Mukoko, I really feel like this squad can do well in the Champions League this season. I am going to be keeping a keen eye, though, on Tino oh. Livermento this season because he needs to hit at least 80 rated to keep his place in the team. Lads, we have qualified for the Champions League group stage. We beat Midland and Besiktas to get here. And we have got Liverpool, Benfica, and Shakhtar Donetsk in this year's competition. Do you know what, lads? I actually quite fancy us to get through that group. And that is the end of the transfer window as well, lads. So we're now going to be simulating forward to January the 1st and hope that we are performing better in the Champions League. We've arrived at January the 1st, lads, and we are second in Ligue 1 as usual. We are always second at January the 1st, but we are only one point behind PSG. It's pretty tight at the top this season between us, Marseille, and PSG. So anyone could actually win Ligue 1 this season. And lads, we topped our Champions League group. I knew we'd get through that group. We won four and lost two, and Liverpool come through as well. And that will set up a tie with Real Sociedad in the round of 16. That's another very winnable tie for us. Urum, Shirke, Hincape, Moukoko and Nwama just continue to just skyrocket in overall, lads. The team just looks so good on paper. Danny Parra has joined Crystal Palace for 10 million euros. And Diego Mariero has joined Athletic Madrid for 26 million euros. And that leaves us with 63 million euros to bring in a world-class left winger, which I do think we can do. We have brought in a left winger, lads, who will replace Jeff Inio in the team. And lads, this is such a good signing. We have brought in Emile Smithrow from Arsenal for 49.3 million euros. Smithrow is 83 rated and 25 year old. I think this is an amazing signing, lads. And that leaves us with 11 million euros, so it's safe to say we will not be bringing anyone else in in this window. So that is our January window done, lads. We're now going to simulate forward to the end of the season and see how we got on in the knockout stages of the Champions League. So we've reached the end of the season, lads, and as you can see, we've finally managed to dethrone PSG and we have won our first trophy of the rebuild, the league earned title. We beat PSG to the title by just one Point. What a season for us. And get ready for it, lads. We've actually done a domestic double. We beat PSG again in the Coupe Nationale final. We have done the double. But the treble was just that step too far as Real Madrid won the Champions League. They actually knocked us out in the quarterfinals 7 to an aggregate. They absolutely pasted us. The Europa League was won by Atletico Madrid and the Conference League was won by Marseille. Now, looking at the starting 11, lads, unfortunately, a broken rib kept Piero Hincapé out towards the end of the season, but he will be back at the start of next season. Where we need to improve next season, I think it's stirring you right in the first, lads. Left back and right back. Livermento's not going well enough. Tagliafico is now 34 year old. It's time to get them positions replaced. And our standout performer this season, lads, was Yusef Amukoko. He got 31 goals in 45 games. Ernst Nomer also got 27 goals. What a signing. He's turned out for Beatles. 87 rated and 22 year old. The sky's the limit for that, lad. So let's head on into season five and hopefully we can challenge for the Champions League title. We have arrived in season five, lads, and we have got 133 million euros to spend. And we already know we're bringing in a left back and a right back in this window. We have made our first signing of the summer, boys, and it is a massive improvement to our right back 
position. We have brought in Satcha oh. Bowie from Girona FC for 58 million euros. Bowie is 84 rated and 25 year old and he's a massive improvement on Liveramento. Now the second signing of the summer boys is actually a little bit of a risk in the left back position. We have signed a very, very young regen from Liverpool who's actually 84 rated. We have signed Gustavo Acuna for 54.1 million euros. He's 21 year old, 84 rated. He's going to go straight into our starting 11 as our new left back. We've also had an outgoing lads. Leon Luongo has joined Villarreal for 16.8 million euros. And PSG have got some revenge on us lads. They have beat us in the Super Cup final 4-1 on penalties. So this is how the starting 11 is looking going into season 5 lads. And I think we've built a really nice little team here at Leon. And I'm actually excited to see how this team does in the Champions League this season. And our Champions League group is in lads. We have got Manchester United, Galatasaray and Midland. Do you know what lads? We should really be qualifying from that group. We are going to be simulating Fauna to January the 1st. And let's see how we are getting on this season. We've routed January the 1st lads. And we are top of Ligue 1 yet again. Six points clear of second place PSG. We have took over as a dominant side in French football. We also breezed through our Champions League group lads. Six wins from six. Made it look easy. And that sets up a tie with Bayern Munich in the round of 16. I'm not expecting much from that. So we've reached the end of the season, boys. And as you can see, we have well and truly dethroned PSG as the kings of France. We have won Ligue 1 for two consecutive seasons. And we actually finished a whole seven points clear of PSG in second place. Now, the Coupe Nationale was won by Havre AC. That is a crazy winner. We did not get too far. We got knocked out in the quarterfinals, so not a good performance was in that competition. And as you can see, lads, after five seasons as Leon manager, we have reached the Champions League final and we'll be taking on Manchester. Spurs won the Europa League and Wolfsburg won the Conference League. So, boys, this is the team that has got us to a Champions League final. And you know what, lads? I am not surprised. That is an amazing team. The one issue I'm seeing, though, is Acuna will be suspended for the Champions League final, meaning Bink, 80 rated Liverpool, Mental will play the final. We must have one of the best right wingers in the world in Nuama. What a signing he was for just 15 million euros. And I did actually want to show you who our stand-up performers were, but for some reason, as you can see, they've reset. So uh, we'll never know who performed so well in our Champions League finalist season. So without further ado, lads, all that's left to do is just play the Champions League final against Manchester City. So it's Champions League final, boys. Liveramento is in for Acuna. And one very interesting start. Every single Champions League final I've played so far on EAFC has finished 1-0. So to Zaire Amiri. Oh, look at that. Let's go for... Go on, then. <laughs> oh, my God. What a goal from Zaya Ramiri. That must have been 30 yards out. What's the skill to get past the man? Oh, my... This must have been 26 yards out from Zaya Ramiri. 111 kilometres an hour. What a oh, man, this filly. Oh, he's got to be saving that. It's 1-0 after 15 minutes. That's the first shot of the game, boys. Oh, shit. Good save. Live at the post. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. That could have been an instant response from City. Shh. Erland. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How has Harland missed? And that is going to be half time, boys. A very uneventful half. Yet again, I'm really struggling to make these finals entertaining. But we are winning 1 0 thanks to Zaire Emery's absolutely wonderful strike. Now, lads, I don't mean to say anything, but we're on course for four consecutive 1 0 wins in Champions League finals. If we can just hold on in the second half. All right, we've got City. We've got a chance on the wing on Calvez. What am I doing? Off. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Rodrigo equalised for Man City. That's the first time we've conceded in a Champions League final for so long as well. I'm holding square here. And I, I, try, I tried anticipating the cross. I'm holding square at Mario and Liveramento. He's not even meant to be playing this game. Doesn't even jump for the ball. I'm literally holding square in full whack. Shirky, Smithro. Oh my. Oh my. Look at that for football. Oh, come on, boys. What a goal that is. It's Bowie, our right back, and he puts us 2-1 up in the Champions League final. That must have been a 30-pass goal. Look at the build-up play here, boys. It's unbelievable. And Bowie, what a finish. Straight past the keeper. City were only back in the game for 20 minutes. It's 2-1 to Leon. Can't get past Bowie, though. Oh, no. What is, oh, my God, what a save. That was literally in the 90th minute. It's literally the 90th minute. What a, the keeper's up. Oh, we could get, we could get one here. They've sent the keeper forward. Win it. <gasps> yes. No. The keeper's forward. Yes. <laughs> that was such an hard final. Oh, my God. Wow. That was the hardest final I've played yet. We managed to beat Man City 2-1. And Leon are the champions of Europe. So, that is another team who are in absolute peril in real life. Rebuilt and made into Champions League winners. It took us just five seasons to take Leon. 
I'm second bottom in league earn to Champions League winners. And it's a man who's been with us since day one, Ryan Shirky, to lift the trophy for Leon. What a rebuild. If you enjoyed the video, boys, please make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as it really helps me. And I will see you in the next rebuild.